Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of this amazing model from Anthropic, the Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is a hybrid reasoning model. I already have shown you its architecture, whatever is known so far. Plus, I have also shown you in various videos as how to get it configured with Continue, with Klein and also with Cursor. So if you are interested in learning about those tools, please check out my channel as I just did a comprehensive series of videos on the same topic. For the purpose of this video, we are going to install this ADER tool which is used for pair programming and I am going to integrate it with this Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. 3.5 was a previous version. This Claude 3.7 already has won a lot of benchmarks. I have been testing this model since morning and this model is one of the best out there at the moment especially when it comes to the new generation of models which include Grok3, OpenAI's GPT-01 and also DeepSeek R1. So let's try to get it installed with um, I mean the ADER with this Claude 3.7 and then we will see how it works. If you are following along, you would need a Tropics API key which you can grab from their website and unfortunately it's a paid option. So make sure that you sign up and log in and grab your API key. Maybe just put $5-$10 there in the account and you should be able to get the API key. So let's get started. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM for this video. I'm not going to use the GPU by, uh, for this video because we'll be using the hosted model. But if you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices or even VM with a good CPU, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon of 50%. So please do check them out. This is the Ubuntu system I'm going to use. And just for the purpose of... Um, introducing them this is the gpu card which is installed on my system nvidia rtx a6000 i'm not going to use it because we'll be using the api key first up let me quickly create a virtual environment with conda and now let's install adder here and i'm just going to go with pip install adder install it's a very very lightweight as you can see that it just took a second to get it installed and then we just need to run this command like adder dash install and it is going to install all the packages which are present here and that is already done and it has added it to our path of the terminal next up we need to set the api key so i'm just going to set it like this in my environment variable so let me set it and clear the screen and that is all done and by the way i am in a, a blank directory there is no file in it at the moment and from here i'm going to run my adder so i'm just going to say adder dash dash model sonnet and api key is what we just set it in environment variable and once you specify sonnet it automatically selects the latest one so it is asking me do i want to create uh, a git repo maybe let's create the git repo doesn't matter just press capital y and it has created the git repo here and now it is saying, uh, would you like to see what is in there? Let's forget it. But you see, it has already selected the main model as plot 3.7 Sonnet. Okay, so I'll just say, no, I don't want to see in um, version, but because we just want to start get started. Now, here, I'm just going to give it one text prompt and I'll ask it to create me maybe a graphic. I'll just say, create me a web page with any maybe i'll just say showing animated solar system okay let's see there you go you see and that is the beauty of this model and one of the cooler feature is it's you know low latency and that is a huge improvement over cloud 3.5 so let's wait for it to get created and then we will see what it does. It, does a, it also creates a files on your operating system. So it has access there and it is asking me create new file. I'll just say capital Y here. And you see it is also showing you the cost. And so be aware of the cost too. Make sure that you are cost conscious. 
it says run the shell command i'll say yes you can even press capital d so that it won't ask you again and you can see that it is it has now created it let's push the limits a bit so i'm going to ask it can you launch this or maybe yeah okay so can you launch this solar underscore yep so i'm just going to press tab here in my browser let's see if it can do that i'll say yes it is using xtg i don't think so i have the x system installed so that is why it was unable to launch it no worries so maybe i'll just quickly go to my local directory wherever i have that so i'm just going to go here and then where is my code this is my code test code and this is a solar one so i'm just going to open it with firefox there you go how cool is that can you believe that i was not expecting such a cool graphic and this has just been created um, by this adder tool i could look at it whole day okay so that is good enough now let me go back to my terminal and i'm going to maybe we can make it bit animated so i can ask it can you make the planets in this solar sorry okay so i think it is just i sorry i couldn't i need to uh you see i mistakenly pressed enter it and it is asking me adding moons adding labels or what so i'll just say okay add the moons uh i just press two here so it is going to add the moons how good is that how good is that seriously okay let's wait for it to finish and then i'll refresh the browser and it has completed adding the moon so if i go back here yep the moons are there pretty cool okay let's go back and maybe just also add this so i'm asking you to make the planets clickable and on click the planet should show their names let's see if it can do that and the changes are there i'm just going to commit them i'll just say why and then it has created it let me click it in front of you so that we would see if it has done it or not so i just refreshed it right okay so what it is doing okay i don't think so it is doing anything now it has stopped working okay, i'll refresh it so i will just tell it that uh, after this change the planets have stopped moving and they are maybe I'll just say this so it says i'll fix the issue so let it fixed and i'm going to commit it let's press y and then let's there you go so can i there you go you see it shows sun and then it just disappears after two seconds if i click on something else it only there you go neptune is here what is that it is running fast maybe it's a moon so there you go sun again so look um, you can already sense that with hit and trial and back going back and forth and it also depends upon your prompting to a bit of it that is actually fast becoming irrelevant because models are getting really really intelligent now but how easily we were able to create um, this application without zero code i mean uh, an ignorant person like me i mean i was able to create this application within no time and just in front of you real i didn't even think about this application before video so it was really quick really raw just put it together and you can see the result here so just imagine that how much uh, capabilities it can augment for a software developer and this is going to really change the game let me know what do you think about this model adder is really has a really improved it a lot and there are a lot of other features of adder too which you can check out i also have been covering adder a lot on the channel previously so do, do give it a chance it's a real good
tool i would say it's uh, i have always liked uh, working with it so let me know what do you think and before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel ai is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching